Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, so I just wanted to film a quick update video because I have just finished filming my tag video and I don't know if this is going up first or that is going up first, I don't know. Um, but I just wanted to quickly do a little update about some life changes that no one probably cares about, but I'm gonna sit here and film the video anyway. Um, and also do it currently reading. So basically I have finished my course for this year. Um, I'm not sure if I ever really properly said what I do, what I'm doing, um, but I am studying for a Masters in Publishing Studies and I decided to do it part time. So year one of my course is over and I really had no idea what on earth I was going to do over the summer. I was just praying for a job and somehow, by some luck, some, I don't know, miracle work um, and also just my actual own hard work, like sometimes you have to give yourself credit, uh, I have managed to land a job in publishing. So that is fantastic. So over the summer I will be working full time, which is great because I won't just be sitting around doing nothing and being bored out of my head. Um, but that does mean, yes, I will be working full time, so I won't have as much free time as I did before when I was just swanning around and going to uni. Um, so yes, I think I'm just going to go back to my old schedule of um, posting a video every Sunday. Um, Sometimes there'll be a video, sometimes they won't, but it just is about managing my time really. Um, but it, it should be alright. It's about managing my time and also finding content. Um, so yeah, up until September I will be working full time, doing all things publishing, which will be fun. I'm really excited for like just a new experience really. Um, but yes, shifting back to 9 to 5 life, it's very different when you get to just sort of wake up whenever you want. Um, but no, that's really good and then I will start back at uni in at the beginning of September. So until then I'm a bit of a free agent really um, and yeah. So that's my update. I also wanted to talk about a book that I'm currently reading which is Earth of Eyes by George R. Stewart. Um, I have, I'm probably about halfway through this book. This is a sci-fi book um, um, and the book is about a serious plague that destroys the vast majority of the human race. And our main character, Isha Woods, Isha Wood Williams, that's such a weird first name. They call him Ish in the book. Returns from a wilderness field trip to discover that civilization has vanished during his absence. Eventually, in San Francisco, he encounters a female survivor who becomes his wife. Around them and their small children, around them and their children, a small community develops, but rebuilding civilization is beyond their resources. And gradually, they return to a simpler way of life. Thoughts about this book are very mixed. I got to page like 63 in this book and he had travelled as far as he could travel in America because loads of things were blocking his way because no one was there to remove the trees and all sorts of other things had happened and I just thought surely this is the end of the book, end of the book then. Of course he had not met to see woman. Um, and it's very interesting what this book does. There's like this whole first section of him just travelling around and he meets the woman and then what it does is it decides to go past, I think it encapsulates, encapsulates 22 years um, in just, it just makes it go by really quickly so there'd be a paragraph for the first year, a paragraph for the second year, so on and so forth, which I liked because no one wants to sit there and read 22 years worth of people's lives in this book. And as you can imagine, it isn't legit just about them sort of rebuilding civilization and sort of thinking um, how, not like how do we rebuild civilization because I guess what the issue is here is some of them, well our main character, can think long term but the rest of them aren't thinking long term, they're just thinking for the now. So that is an issue that is sort of starting to come up. The rest of them are quite happy to just be living in the now and it's also about them like living in a world where they had access to telephones and things like that but then they're giving birth to children who don't have any memories of these things because they didn't exist when they were born. So that's quite interesting. Um, but Overall, the book is pleasant. Um, this is the book that my boyfriend really likes, so I'm trying to read it and be like, I really like this too, but I have been very honest with him. But <laughs> so yeah, but it's a good delve into sci-fi for me. I'm just sort of reading it like, mm, okay, we'll see. But we'll see what I think when I get to the end. But yeah, I was very bored in the beginning, but it has got to a point now where it's sort of 
making me think a little bit more and I think maybe this will be the part that I enjoy a little bit more because in the beginning I was like I don't really care about you know the ants coming the mice coming the dogs coming like people coming to invade your house like you know but what it's trying to explain obviously is the fact that without the interference of humans or the interference of other animals that like ants will multiply because they don't have any people killing them um you know dogs will multiply it will like get a lot braver because there are no humans around to sort of scare them and the same with like pigs and cows and lions etc etc so it is interesting um it is very thought provoking but it's also not really the jam but i said i wanted to read things like sci-fi and stuff like that to get me thinking like this so it's doing what it's supposed to do even if i'm not enjoying it that much um but yeah that is all from me from this very quick video so i just want to give you guys a little update um i think the book i read before this was normally by sally rooney <laughs> I gave this book a two out of five stars. I I can talk about this more in my um, monthly wrap up, but wow! Don't follow hype when you know that deep in your heart you might not like this book. But I guess with any book, it's a gamble, really. I will catch you in my next video, which I'm not sure if it will be the tag video. We shall see. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.